guys welcome back to my channel i'm juliana no, i'm not juliana i'm juliana <laughs> and in today's video i'm going to talk to you about a book that is from jrr tolkien and is um, a little something to commemorate christmas so first of all, let me wish you a very Merry Christmas. I don't know if you celebrate, celebrated yesterday or today, but today is Christmas Day and I wanted to post something uh, about Christmas. And I had this book in here for since last year. Uh, but last year I didn't have the time to read it, so I keep kept it to this year so I could do a video about it. And the book that I'm talking about is Letters from Father Christmas, as you can see, from Tolkien. So this is my first Tolkien. I never have read anything from him. This is in English, so I bought an English edition because I want to read the works by, Christ by Christopher No, by J.R.R. Tolkien in English. So this, what is this book? This book is a gathering of letters that Tolkien wrote to his children. They were four, so they were... Let me see here. John... Michael, Christopher and Priscilla. And this goes from... Let me check in here. So the first letter came in 1920. And it goes till 1943. So every year Tolkien would write um, as if it was Father Christmas or as we know today Santa Claus um, to his children and uh, some in some letters in here we don't have the year exactly or do we? because sometimes no, we have, but sometimes, well, let me show you, so, as you can see here, we have the year up in here, and then we have the letter, and we have pictures of the real letters that Tolkien wrote, And Tolkien would draw as well to his children in the letters. Let me show you some like this one. Like this. He, he was a drawer to Tolkien and his drawings are really, how can I explain it? They have a type of, it's like they have a, a, si a signature. So you look at the drawing and you know it's from Tolkien, you know? And so in here we have um, letters that are talking about uh, the lives of the, ch the children. So things that are happening in their lives. If they, uh, when, well, as this is from, so I think Tolkien began writing these letters when his older son was three years old so 
he began this tradition when they were really uh, young, right? Small children. And he talks in here about, I hope you learn to write and read. So he accompanies their growing. Um, and sometimes he directs the letters to uh, one of his children in specific. Other times he speaks to all of them, to the four of them. Um, and in here, uh, Father Christmas says that he has a helper, a right hand, that is the polar bear. And sometimes that polar bear, bear also writes some lines in the letters. And he, let me, if I can find it. So, as in this example, we have um, the lines from Father Christmas on the top and then at how in bold we have the lines from polar bear so and you can see here that in the original he the letters from Tolkien are really colorful and in different type of writing Oh, another feature in here. And so sometimes he will write really small letters. Most of them, uh, the first ones, he would say, oh, I don't have time this year. I'm really busy. I hope you're well. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. So, and the letter will, will end like that. And in others, he will do really long letters talking about he the work that he was having and sometimes he would complain that he wouldn't receive so much so many letters from children as he used to because in here although we don't have the letters from the children so the children of Tolkien we can understand that the children would write to Father Christmas and sometimes his letters would be in, in response to the letters of the children. And in some years, we could, from the letters from Father Christmas, right? We would uh, assume that the children weren't so um, up to it. So they wouldn't write a letter to Father Christmas and Father Christmas would speak about it. So say, oh, I'm so sorry that so-and-so didn't write to me this year. And we could see the, the progression uh, of the, um, as the years would go by. So he would direct his letters to the youngest of the children. You know what I mean? So we could we can see um, the progression uh, through the years of maybe the distancing of the older children from that mysticism and magic of Christmas. And one letter in particular. Uh, Father Christmas does rhymes, I think it's to Pr Priscilla. Um, so we have a panoply of uh, subjects talked in here. So he would complain about goblins, that they were troubling his work. And sometimes the polar bear would disappear or something would happen and something and someone would get hurt and the um, the work of Father Christmas would be delayed so some things like that so uh, things about the Father Christmas work so every Christmas um, 
complaints about the children not writing to him as much, things about the lives of the children, uh, the children of Tolkien. So this is a heartwarming compilation. Um, we could see that Tolkien would, you know, um, stimulate the um, the magic of Christmas in his children. So I think the idea of Tolkien was to keep the Christmas spirit alive in his children and he would do this every year and do drawings. So he had, um, he invested in this project, you know, so, and I think as a father, that's really beautiful how you invest in your children and you promote the um, magic in their lives so um, it's adorable and I really loved reading it and especially as this is in English this is a, a great uh, um, opportunity to train and practice your English so I really advise you to buy this book in English so you can have, have it in the original and read it in the ori original, that's one, and two, to practice. So this is really accessible and it's really simple language. And for, you know, the holidays and uh, a really cozy reading, I think you will love it. Um, yeah, it's not uh, complicated, you know, this is a really straightforward book because this is letters from a father disguising as Father Christmas to his children, so there's nothing complicated to it. It's really straightforward and but really adorable. And um, yeah, my project of reading Tolkien is delayed because I wanted to read uh, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings this year, but I didn't have the time because I'm I have an idea to do a reading project, but in a different type of way so nothing that never was done before or anything I'm not saying that but I was thinking of doing videos of like according to the number of pages do certain chapters and do a video like a um, joint reading where you could uh, read together with me. I will do um, a schedule for us to read those books and each each week or every other week I will do a video about the chapter that we have read uh, and we could have a discussion in the comments. Uh, and I also research about books that are from um, people that study Lord of the Rings. And I think that will be uh, added value to the reading, the joint reading. And I'm thinking of uh, adding them to the reading project. But I don't know when I will do this. I don't know if I'm going to have time for next year. Because um, if I'm going to do this, this will get, this will, will uh, oblige me to um, obeying the, the chronogram, so the schedule and I have to have time to do that. But if this is something that you are interested in, please let me know in the comments. I would really love to know if I have 
you know, other people that would be interested in accompanying me, reading The Hobbit, Lord of, Lord of the Rings, and probably The Silmarillion. I'm not sure if I'm going to add more or not, but maybe The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, and The Silmarillion, and the other books about Lord of the Rings that I talked about that I'm going to I'm not going to say here which books I'm talking about because I want to talk about this more deeply in a specific video in the future perhaps um, and I don't remember the titles as well so um, but you know that's a, a idea that I have and I really love to know if you are interested in it. Have you read Lord of the Rings? If you didn't, why don't you read with me? I think, and even if you have read, maybe you could reread together with me and participate in the comments, like your thoughts about uh, each chapter and the meanings behind the story so yeah but i don't know exactly when i'm going to do this but if you have interested in it i'm probably could do it next year uh, maybe in the summer or something when I have a bit more time so yeah <laughs> so please let me know about this idea please let me know if you have read letters from Father Christmas and what you have thought uh, I wish you a really happy Christmas I hope you are gathered with your families uh, and uh, in the warm in the warmth of your house and if, if this Christmas you are not together with your family, I hope you are celebrating together with someone that you love. And yeah, I Merry Christmas. So I see you in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to press the ring bell button to wall so you can receive all my notifications leave a like it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel follow me on instagram i'll be posting there whenever i have a book review to do or anything else and yeah happy happy christmas and i see you on the next one bye